Okay, boys, we got a game against Just the Soar. Um, running, running a pretty interesting team with Lando and Tornadus. Um, what a kid. <laughs> But a kid. Well, that's why you're on the naughty list because because you're being naughty right now. So you're gonna be on the naughty list if you keep talking like that. No, no, because Father Christmas is not being very nice to me. Anyway, um, let's see. I love my Kelly in this in this game, though. But let's just lead off with it. Just want to see what he does. He leads up at the road dump. Um, obviously, I can kill this, but I need to know if he's scarfed first so i think going fairy turn is safer play if i switch first bef like if he's switching out but i switch first i know he's not scarfed and if he full switches then i know he's pretty much scarfed he switches out but i switch first so that's not a scarf uh rota so that's good to know and he brings in the azumarill uh, i'll just click protect my crit on checks this if he was belly drum but he clicks super power and I obviously have my tornadoes for this. He actually makes the switch into B sharp. Uh, cool. Cool play. Do I taunt this or what do I do? Um, I'll just taunt this. He, he might switch out fearing like a superpower or a heat wave. Should also, should, you should always scout for it though. Okay, that's going to Lendo, and if this is like a stealth rocker, he won't be able to get a rock, so that's good. Um, I'll just U turn here. He stone edges and he missed. Kind of unfortunate, but uh, I'll make full use out of this. If he knocked me out, uh, then I would have still been able to get in my Crodon because my Crodon is gonna is gonna do a lot of damage right now. Because I, I'll source dance here. It's obviously not gonna stay in because Bandit Aqua Jet could kill from here if because he's a choice scarf Lando. But I'll make full use of this opportunity. Goes into the Ferret Thorn. And yeah, he has a Lando and he has a Rotom, so this is most likely especially defensive Ferret Thorn. So I'll just click knockoff. He stays in and we got rid of the ferret thorn and this credant is still a threat boys this credant is still a threat if he brings in rotom i might even just wait i can just aqua jet the rotom he goes into the lando um we know this is carved but i'll still click aqua jet even if he switches out yeah he stays in so we get rid of the lando credant already picking up two kills and we're still at plus one Uh, he goes into the Azuma roll because of the Intimidate though. Uh, I am not able to knock this out. And Cronaut can still check his Rotom. He can still check his uh, Tornadus. And he is kind of forced to go for Play Rough. Or Super Power. Um, like, I could get off a lot of damage with Knockoff. But I think Cronaut still has some value. Just because it can beat the rest of his... Check out the rest of his team still. Um, I think Tornadus is my overall safest play because I think I live a bandit play rough. And if he goes for super power, that's even better. Now he goes for play rough. Okay. And um, I'm just going to hard switch. Like, in case he goes Tornadus, like, he could predict a U turn and go into his Tornadus and try to attempt to get, let me take a Rocky Helmet chip. So he actually goes into the Rotom instead. I have Majorachi out, but Majorachi doesn't really touch this Rotom. Uh, we know he's not Scarfed. Um, let's see. I'll just u there and I get a crit there. But I'll go into Clefable over going into over uh, into Ferritorn. Clicks does click Thunderbolt. Does quite some damage actually. Is that is that offensive? Um, I'll just click soft boil because he's most likely full switching. Yep. I get Clefable to fill health. He, he brings in a Bisharp. Um, I'm going to T wave this because if I get the paralysis off, then my Clefable is going to be faster, which means Clefable can check this because 
takes nothing from sucker punch he does go for iron head and he flinches me unfortunately i really needed that t-wave because um that way my clefable could check this now i'm in a rough position um uh, i'll just go into my tornadoes here he goes for a knockoff he's not life warped so it could be black glasses he did switch moves so he's not choiced and i'm gonna bring in Keldeo. and what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna uh, if i click skull bishop dies i'm gonna go clefable in case he goes tornadoes because then i can heal up actually goes bisharp i guess i should have just pressed scald this sucks i really misplay there um going, going to click soft boil maybe he predicts the ferritor it really sucks that i didn't get off the t-wave because otherwise i would have get my clefable in life knowing it could check the bisharp but now he goes for waterfall it sucks. Um, I'll go Credon now. I, I need to get some damage off on this thing. I can still healing wish this back up. Crap hammer shit to it, KO this. <laughs> oh man. Miss. Okay, I'll go for Crap hammer and put it in range of Scald. That, that is really unfortunate that I missed that one. 90% accuracy, my ass. <laughs> oh well. I actually rarely clicked Crap Hammer on Credant. Because I mainly killed things with knockoff, but I actually missed another one. I actually don't think I've ever hit, hit a Crap Hammer with this Credant. Because <laughs> I never needed to click Crap Hammer. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I'll go Keldeo, and <laughs> I need to go for a Skull Burn. Because I cannot really go with Jirachi, because he has to Rotom, and he has a Bisharp. This really sucks. I don't get the burn, he waterfalls me. I, I guess I have to Healing Wish to Keldeo later. I do get the burn now, it's a bit too late. He already got so much damage off. He's not gonna die to the burn now. Oh, man. So I cannot even win with Jirachi now. Get rid of this. I don't think Specs Hydro Bump knocks out the Tornadoes. But I'll go Jirachi here. He kinda has to click Hurricane. He has to click Hurricane. Because Heat Wave is not knocking. He clicks Superpower. Damn. And he's Life Orb. Okay. Um. Sucks. I think he should just stay in. Like, I really want a U turn, expecting the Rotom and get a kill with Keldeo. But he should. Okay, he goes Rotom. Like, the reason he should have stayed in was because he could have seen what I did and then always bring in the Rotom. Because if I U-turned here, I could have brought in Keldeo and clicked Hydro Pump and killed something. But instead, um, I'm just gonna try to iron at this down. So there's no other play for me now. This really sucks. Do get the flinch. I think I really have to do this. Well, I don't get it now. Knocks me out. Yeah, not getting the T-Wave on the Bishop was rough. Yeah. Click Hydro Pump here. Maybe he brings in the... I'll just Skull there. I think if he does bring in the Tornadoes, I might burn it. Now he goes Bishop. Actually, pretty smart play because Tornadoes is gonna win. sucks man i'll go ferret and he did show superpower 
but maybe he doesn't have heat wave and i live the second superpower I just go for Leech in case he goes Rotom. No, he has Heat Wave. But that is really unfortunate. He crits me as well to put extra salt on the wound there. <laughs> yeah. GG. Uh, let's forget about this game. Missing two crap out. If I only I had one. If I, if I only had one, that would have been enough, I guess. Because then I could have revenged killed uh, the Azumarill without taking so much damage on my Keldeo. Yeah, man. It happens. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> GG, man. Anyway, um, hope you guys did enjoy the battle. <laughs> if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, boys, we got a game against Cobra. Um, that channel is actually really threatening because I don't really have a. S a good fire resist outside of my Keldeo, which I don't want to switch into an attack, ideally. Keldeo is really good against his team, though. So I can definitely put in some work, but I think I'll just lead off with Tornadus. Because if he does lead off with the Pharaoh or the, the Clefable, I can taunt. As he leads off with the Landorus, could be the Stealth Rocker. Um, but I'll just taunt him. If he's Scarfed, then he's... Most likely you turning just because I don't think he's going to click Stone Age because I have 9,000 switches for this Lando. I have a Pharaoh. I have my uh, Keldeo. I have my um, my Clefable. So he does go for the U-turn and, and he reveals the Choice Scarf. I also get the Rocky Helmet chip, which is really nice. Uh, makes it easier for my, uh, for my Jirachi later on. I do need to get rid of the Pharaoh and then it opens up the game for my Jirachi, I think. But yeah, I'm clicking Taunt, but he might expect a knockoff here, so he might be hesitant into switching into his Chandelier or his Redant. So he goes into the Tornadus just to see what I do. Taunt him. Uh, actually, really good play on his part because if I knock him off, not much happens. But yeah, he could knock me off here. Um, but I'll just go for the U-turn. If he knocks me off, I get a free switch into something. If I U-turn first before him, he doesn't knock off my item on Tornado. So uh, I guess it's a win-win if I U-turn here. Ideally, <laughs> oh, he U-turns first. So this is actually the best possible outcome for me because he U-turns first and I basically get to see what he brings in as he brings in the Ferrothorn and I'm willing to risk it, boys. I'm willing to risk it because I could bring in my Caldeo, but he can protect, can bring in Clefable, he has a Tornadus, so I'd rather go into Credant and I'll, I'm willing to risk him having, uh, having Power Whip, but me bringing in a Credant like this will also summon some question marks <laughs> on his side. One, one second, man, man, let me wrap this game up. Um, might be fearing the superpower, so he might go for the Protect. So I go for Sword Stance, as he does go for the Protect. And even if he clicks, click Leech Eat or Stealth Rocks or what, whatever, I am I have this plus two. And I'm pretty sure this Ferrothorn is also... Well, could be relaxed. Could be. And, uh, but then he doesn't really have a special wall, I guess. But if this is, if this is a special wall, then... It's gonna drop right here, and I think I'm just getting a kill right now. If he had Power Whip, he would have used it <laughs> earlier. But yeah, he does stay in, and I get rid of this Ferret Thorn. And this really opens up the game for Jirachi, because that's his... Uh, that's his Iron Head switch in. Because obviously Chandelure resists it, but it still takes above 20%, I think. Cordant also takes a lot. But I have a plus two Credant on my side. And look at his team. He has no good water switching anymore. Because the, the, uh, the Ferrothorn is gone. Because his Credant is not going to appreciate a Crap Hammer or, or an Aqua Jet. Because like this, this Credant is out, boys. Okay, Lando comes in. 
And that's his Scarf Lando. I'm still going to Aqua Jet this. Like I said, he, he doesn't have good water switch ins anymore. So even this Cordant is taking a lot. He actually goes into the Tornadus. And that Tornadus is Rocky Helmet. But it's getting to it KO. So he's most likely switching again. But I got Chip off on this Tornadus, which is nice. And I'm just gonna, gonna Aqua Jet again. Uh, he. Because if he goes Clefable, I can click Crap Hammer right after, and I'm pretty sure it's going to kill the Clefable. Uh, Aqua Jet into Crap Hammer, but he actually decides to go Cradant, and I'm still at plus one, and my Cradant is jolly. 90% of the Cradants are adamant, so I'm willing, I'm willing to go for the knockoff here. Aqua Jet is not knocking me out, and a uh, really high chance this Cradant is adamant. If he's jolly, I'm still willing to go for the speed tie, because I am at plus one. Yeah, I, I do go first, but I knocked off the life orb. If this is a jolly one, then I, I'm sorry, but I still stand by my play. I was at plus one. Uh, I didn't really have a reason to switch because I was jolly. If I was adamant, that would have been another story because my Cordant is awesome. It's phenomenal against this team. But yeah, it picked up two kills basically, so really nice. And it can still do more. He does bring in the Lando now. I'm not sure if I knock it out. I might knock it out, but um, I can still use the Cordant and I can still healing wish it up with Jirachi as well if I really need to. And like I said before, I have like 9,000 switches to this thing. Um, I don't want to bring in Ferritorn though, be just because he could U turn here and then bring in Chandelure. So I'm just gonna bring in the Tornadus, I don't think he's going to Stone Edge. Yeah, he does go for the youth and then that's another rocky helmet chip so really cool and he doesn't really have an answer for this because he could bring in his own tornadoes but i'm pretty healthy still i know it's rocky helmet um i can taunt the clefable and basically make it useless and he could bring he could bring in his chandelier but if it's scarfed then it's not gonna not gonna knock me out and I get a big hit off and I also get to see what he does so we'll see okay Chandelure does come in and yeah once again if if he's scarfed then he's not gonna knock me out if he specs then I know Macaldeo can always kill this so I'll just click Hurricane here I go first so He's not scarfed and he, that shadow ball did so much that thing is definitely choice packs um i'll u-turn here even though he could be bringing in his tornadoes if he does bring in his tornadoes on a hurricane that would put him in such a bad position so i'll just u-turn here and if he stays in i know he has to click shadow balls so i can bring in my ferritoin and set up a spike okay he does stay in and ferritoin should live to shadow boss even if he's choice packs because i'm especially defensive ferritoin 40 percent and i don't want to go for the lead sheet because <laughs> he could be bringing in the clefable uh knockoff could be a play but spikes spikes is gonna pressure this chandelure and i always have Jirachi to, to check the Clefable, but yeah, he brings in the Lando and I could actually protect here, but uh, That's also kind of obvious. I just go Tornadus. I, I could protect here and see what he does, but if he pivots back into the Into the chandelier predicting my protect then I have to switch in to To the chandelier again, and that's not gonna be fun. So I just go Tornadus as he clicks Stone Edge, so that play works for him. Uh, I guess a nice play. But he's locked into Stone Edge, so I can go into my Jirachi here. And because he didn't get the Intimidate, this Iron Head is going to do so much damage to his team. I also have a Spike up, so I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure Chandler gets to it KO'd anyway. But pretty sure the Tornadus gets to it KO'd. And if he goes Tornadus, uh, he does go Tornadus, then... He kind of needs to go back to the Lando, but that means he, the Lando takes damage again. And that after, if he doesn't go Lando, the um, Tornadus dies. But if he brings in Lando, I get damage off, and that means he cannot switch into my Jirachi anymore. 
because then he gets to hit KO'd after, uh, even after Intimidate. So Lando does come in. And this does 24. Yeah, there's definitely a 2 hit KO next time if he gets uh, the Intimidate off. And I can actually win with Jirachina. Uh, I'll go Clefable. As for Earthquake. And I am going to go for the Moonblast here. It hits the Lando. But like going Moonblast over Soft Boil because it hits the Lando. But it also hits an incoming Chandelure if he does want to bring it in. Yeah, go Chandelure. And I get the damage of 21. He's at 5%. But now he cannot really switch out anymore. Because I have the spikes up. And I do have to switch into this Pokemon. Good sec Pharaoh. But because um, I just go Pharaoh. He misses overheat. So I'm actually going to make full use out of this. Um... On second thought, I can bring in my Keldeo, just because his Lander is Scarred, Tornadus is faster, and I don't want it KO uh, Clefable. So I don't think HP is that important, and I'm pretty sure I don't get a KO'd by an Overheat crit. Yeah, 61, so if, if he crit me, I would, would still have lived. And I can click Scald, and Tornadus is gonna die, Lander is gonna die, Chandelure is spec, so he's gonna die as well. And I'm pretty sure Clefable gets 2 hit KO'd as well. So let's see. Does go Clefable 54% and I'm pretty sure this one knocks it out. And with that Clefable gone, my Clefable is actually gonna win. Because I have the spikes up. I guess um, the tor Tornadus could still be defog. But he won't be able to defog for free. So, and I got this Clefable. Chandelure is gonna die. Uh, Lenorus could be coming in. And then we go Tornadus. And I could sack Pharaoh, but I think Clefable is gonna win, so I'm just gonna Scald. And I'll bring Jirachi in right after. I, he kills me. I can even healing wish with Jirachi if I really want to. But I think Jirachi... If I flinch tornadoes one time, I win. Yeah, he gives up. And it's basically the game. Cordant really opened up the game for us. And I hope you guys did enjoy this battle. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. Check out my Discord link in the description if you would like to chat. And... I'll see you guys in the next video.